What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Brooklyn, a.k.a. Brooke, back with another banger, you feel me? So, as I can tell by the title, this video is uh, how to, well, how to start your YouTube channel, like being a YouTuber on the budget, like, you know, tips for starting a YouTube channel, basically. So, I got them right here on this phone, so I'm going to be reading them, reading them off this phone. <clears throat> so... Before we start this video, if you're not if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment on this video, let me know some more video ideas y'all would like for me to do, and all that jazz. So, um, first, first thing first, everybody thinks for starting a YouTube channel, you have to have a um camera. You do not have to have a camera. You could use your phone camera. Like, right now, I'm using my iPhone 11 Pro Max. As y'all can see, this camera is good, like... It's good so you do not have to and it's best if you have an iphone androids i wouldn't recommend them but if you're a starting youtuber you know you can come off of android you can come up off of android i can't tell you what you can and can't come up off of because people don't came up using their androids using their iphones all that type of stuff i know big youtubers i know some um big youtubers who still use their phone like you don't need a you don't necessarily need a camera <sighs> when you get up there Investing in the camera would be good, but you know, you can use your phone. Um, second, you need to when you get your YouTube channel, y'all look at my double chin. Like, y'all see it? Okay, when you get your YouTube channel, you need to make a schedule like posting schedules like you could post three days out the week two days out the week and it the least amount i would say is two days out the week but if you i mean it's hard sometimes because people work people have school all that type of stuff but try to post at least two to three times a week i would say a good like if you in school and you don't have like after school games and stuff i would say a good schedule for you would probably be like you can make a video monday wednesday and Friday and on your weekends that's when you can edit and then post Tuesday Thursdays like you just have to make a good schedule my schedule what I made what but I don't use it cuz I don't know I be having too much going on especially with school right now I be having too much going on so um my schedule was I make a video Monday edit it Monday post it Tuesday make a video on Wednesday edit it Wednesday night post it Thursday Make a video Friday, edit it Friday night, post it Saturday. That was a good schedule for me, but I don't use it now because I really do be trying to focus on school. So it's like, that's not, that's not, um, good for me no more. It's not working for me no more. So yeah, make sure you make a good schedule. Next, when you want to become a YouTuber and you start thinking about it and you actually do it, don't be in it for the money because the money is not coming easily as some of y'all think it does. A lot of people say you get paid once you get 100 subscribers, you get paid. That's not the case. You have to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And you know when people post a YouTube video, they're only like 10 minutes or so. And people all the time do not, a majority of the people who watch YouTube videos do not watch the whole video. So basically 4,000 hours it's 240,000 minutes. That's how many minutes of your video have to be watched. That's how much. It's not easy. Like, people think it's so easy. And if you in it for money, then that's not good. But some people be in it for money because that's what that's what they want their career to be, a YouTuber. But that's not good to just be in it for the money. Like, you have to actually want to do it. Like, you have to, when you're making videos... Like, you have to like what you're doing. Like, you can't just, oh, I'm ready to get paid. Because it, it's not that easy, as y'all may think it is. Um, no, another thing. Don't pay attention to negative comments. Because it's going to be negative people all across the world, every way. They're going to have something to say, something bad to say about anything. It's just people like that sometimes. You can't pay attention to stuff like that. Because stuff like that, that will make you not want to do it. So, when people comment negative stuff on y'all posts, either delete it or ignore it. That's what I would do. When you make videos, try to make content that's popping. Like, sometimes that's how people channels blow off because say something is trending. 
like the colorful food challenge like that was trending people channels pop off that um get ready with me first days of school like after the whole summer stuff going back to school people videos pop like people channels pop posting videos like that so yeah make sure you post content that people want to see but then again you can post things that you want to post but it would be better to post stuff that you know people want to watch so you can start getting um supporters and all that type of stuff Um, sorry y'all. Um, y'all like my hair? Like, I just got it done. Got a video on that coming. Next is, remember to be yourself. Like, if y'all go back and watch my earlier videos, I was not myself. I was, like, trying to act like other YouTubers I saw. Like, I used to talk, let me show y'all how I used to talk in my videos. I used to be like, let me show y'all. Cause baby girl, like I do not know, like all the time stuff, like <laughs> that's how I used to be on my videos, y'all. And when I look at it, it's like that's so cringy. Like just be yourself. If if people don't like you for who you are, they don't have to watch your channel. Be yourself. Um, that's what I do now. I don't care about all that other stuff. I used to try to be like everybody is so bad, but just be yourself. <sighs> okay when you post videos it's good for you to promote your videos on all social medias that you have i don't care what it is facebook snapchat instagram but i will say face i meant snapchat instagram they do show the most love facebook it's like uh but instagram is really popping for youtubers most youtubers they um got instagram like they don't see them talk about facebook and stuff so yeah that's a good thing um next i would say is it goes back along with a posting schedule be, try to be consistent because if you stop being consistent your supporters will stop watching you they'll probably forget about you and when you post they probably won't even think oh let me go check out her channel see if she posts because you barely be posting so yeah that's a good tip <clears throat> okay y'all that's all i could think of really in my opinion that's all i could think of it's probably more but i'm gonna have to take some time and I said it was in my phone, but I didn't even look at the ones on my phone. I just did it off the noggin. But yeah, so those are some tips for y'all who want to become YouTubers or who are upcoming YouTubers. I'm still one myself, but I'm just making this video. Maybe y'all got um some of the same things as me y'all think. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's all for this video. <sighs> I hope it helps some of you guys. If it did, like this video, comment, and subscribe. Click that red button so you be what click that red button so you can become a part of the family and make sure you click the bell so you'll be notified when i post baby and we're out